Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is gonna be a wash and go slash product review. Diva Curl was awesome enough to send me some new products. So I'm gonna go ahead and review this Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel um, Define and Control product. So it looks like this. I'm gonna use this product exactly how it's instructed so you guys can see how the results came out well you see how the results came out but you can see how I got about getting those results and if you'd like to learn more please keep watching all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair out yes, now it says to use on wet hair I just put the uh, microfiber cloth that they gave me um, on my hair to hold all of my hair together so my hair is still wet um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up and then start splitting it I'll probably start from the back. The purpose of this gel is to have really defined, nicely styled curls that are not dry, not crunchy, um, and aren't flaky. It doesn't leave your hair flaky. When I was looking up the ingredients, they have a lot of ingredients that are moisturizing. I'll get into them in a little bit. But just off of like what I'm experiencing right now, this gel smells so good. It almost smells like Garnier Fructis' conditioners, that like fruity kind of scent. It has that smell to it. I like fruity scents. Um, so that's a plus for me. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It feels nice. And it feels light, like it doesn't feel heavy. So I'm gonna leave that there and just see what happens. And on the bottle it says to let your hair air dry. So we're gonna let this hair air dry. We're not gonna use the diffuser today. So when you look at the ingredients on this gel, and I'll just talk as I go. The first five ingredients that you see are water, copolymer, glycerin, hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed corn protein, and hydrolyzed soy protein. So the hydrolyzed wheat and soy protein are in there for moisture, to keep your hair moisturized. And those hydrolyzed proteins are also good for anti-frizz. So it keeps your hair from frizzing up. Um, I would assume in humid weather as well. I'm gonna test it out when I go away. But that's, those are the main ingredients that are in there for that. But even when I was looking up the other ingredients, um, one thing that I really do like about this product is that normally when you look at products and you see the first five ingredients those are usually what have what take up the most um, of the product and on that list on this bottle I'll list the ingredients for you in um, an order but they have a lot a lot of good products that are listed right on top and then at the bottom is where you'll find like the products like fragrances and color and stuff like that. What I also like about this product is that even though it's a gel, it has three different kinds of moisturizers in it, which you don't see a lot with gels. Gels usually dry out your hair. The first one is pronounced ethyl hexoglycerin. Then there's regular glycerin, which is in the first five ingredients. And then the last one is dehydrolyzed soy protein. So just like looking up the ingredients, I'm really excited to see how my hair turns out because they really do have good ingredients. And I do want to talk a little bit because I just feel like gratitude has been really heavy on my heart and on my mind lately. This week already, well, it's Thursday, but it's been a very busy week for me. And I've just been thinking about everything that's transpired in this last week and even just like in the last few months of the new year. And I just feel super, super grateful for like all the people that I've been meeting and all the opportunities I've had and even opportunities that turned into rejections, but just seeing like how far I'm willing to go when it comes to taking advantage of opportunities and meeting new people. And it's just been such a great year for me. Like I know everyone starts off like 2018 is gonna be a great year. It's a new year, new year, new me. But like legitimately, I really like taking full advantage of all the opportunities that come across my way. And I think that a lot of times we get caught up in like, you know, being grateful when you win or when you graduate or when you get promoted or, you know, when you reach some sort of level of success or triumph. When in reality, we should be able to also celebrate 
the journey, the process, overcoming fears, overcoming discomfort, learning different things about yourself. I think that is almost more rewarding at times than to hear someone say, you know, like you did it, you won, you got a hundred, you got an A. Like there's other things in life that we could celebrate. I think we need to give more attention to that because that's where growth comes. And I just feel like I've been growing so much. Like I've always grown really fast and matured pretty fast, but like where I am in my life and how I think and how I feel, it just feels good. It feels different. It feels refreshed. You know, I don't feel disappointed when I don't get things or when I don't receive things or when I get a no to something I really want, like I just take it as an opportunity to grow. And I've really been tested these last few months in many ways. And I just see myself like maneuvering through the discomfort. And I think it's great. I think it's amazing. So if there's anyone who's experiencing some sort of discomfort or you just feel like, you know, I'm not used to this stage or I've been rejected or neglected um, so many times, celebrate that like celebrate that now if you're not trying hard enough and you're just being lazy and that's why you're getting rejected then no we're not celebrating that we have to work harder but if you're giving your all to something and you're finding that you just keep hitting a wall really reevaluate that and assess that what does that mean what does that mean for you what does that mean for your growth and take the time out to appreciate that because a process is all about learning. It's all about growing. It's all about evolving. And sometimes we think about tomorrow so much or about the next five years so much that we don't get to really embrace and live in right now and experience our growth. And I think that's the whole thing. Like, I feel like I'm literally living in my growth right now. Like, I'm not looking back and being like, wow, I grew so much. I feel myself growing. And I think it's so beautiful. What's that saying? They say, um, give people flowers while they can still smell them, right? So, something like that. Um, just like really being able to appreciate and live in... <laughs> I know I'm messing that up right now. I'm laughing at myself. But just really being able to live in your moment, even when it's not the best moment or what you would consider the best moment. I don't know. I re I'm really happy. Like It's a very different time for me. And I'm enjoying it so much, like so much. And I don't know if it's because it's also getting nicer outside because that definitely affects my mood too. Like I feel like when the sun is out more often, I'm just in better spirits. But yeah, I'm happy. And I want everyone to take that message away as well. Like let's really celebrate the things that we maybe didn't get but did learn from. Because knowledge is power and you know, we can all grow from the things that maybe we don't want or things that we get rejected from. Also, you guys, just recently this week, I hit like my first 100 subscribers. It sounds crazy even saying that out loud because I did not see that coming. So thank you for everybody who supported me so far and watched my videos, gave me constructive criticism, gave me um, great compliments. Just thank you for all of that because I've been having so much fun doing this and just like really becoming creative and, and finding what it is that I like to do. Um, it's really been such a blessing. And I, I attest that also to what I was saying earlier, like, you know, being okay with being uncomfortable. I'm definitely a creature of habit and a person who likes like when I like something I stick to it so this was really different for me because I don't know I'm not really a person who likes to be front and center and you know there's just so many factors that go into not only creating but publicizing yourself and your personal interest and you know yourself under so many different kinds of lights so this was really different and it was something that was on my mind for a while and at first I was kind of like no way when people would give me the idea and put it in my ear and then slowly but surely I would look at videos and I'd be like wow like if I did this video I would do it like this and I would change this and oh my god that's so dope like I would do that so to actually be living it feels so good and it's just so fun like I, I come home from work and this is like the first thing that I want to do so please like if there's something that is on your heart that you want to do and you're scared because 
you know, you might not have enough money or you're scared what people are going to think or you're not used to, or you feel like you don't know enough, just do it. Like the worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work out. And we've all experienced rejection at some point in our life, whether it's been a lot or a little bit, you've experienced that before. So don't let something or don't let a feeling stifle you, especially one that you've already experienced before. You can learn from things, you can grow from things, and if it's not gonna be a success in that specific task, it'll be a success in another area, like in your development. So please just do whatever is on your heart. If there's something that is heavy on your heart, just try it out because you you literally never know what happens. Like I did not think that I would be doing all of this on YouTube, just like you know, having fun, creating, coming up with new ideas, um, reaching out to brands, like all these things that just sound crazy even saying out loud. But I'm so proud of myself because it was something that was so out of my comfort zone. And here I am feeling so comfortable in it. So find people who support you. It's so important. I feel like in the last two to three months, I've met so many creative people and so many people who just support me and just like encourage me to keep going when I'm tired or like when I feel like I'm not good enough. And the good thing is like, this is why God is so good. Like when you feel discouraged or when you feel like, damn, like why should I be doing this? Like who's going to pay attention to me or like my work sucks. You always get some sort of some little seed of encouragement to push you forward legit every single time. Every time I doubted myself, I was just like, I'm too tired to do this. What am I doing this for? Like I would always get some sort of seed of encouragement and it just confirms that, you know what? This is what you're supposed to do, even if it's just what fulfills you in the nature of having fun or having a hobby it's your outlet it's what you're supposed to do and if things make you happy you need to do those things so don't let um negative thoughts or negative talk cloud your mind just do what you want to do like if there's anything anyone can get out of this forget the hair products for a second just do what it is that you want to do and enjoy it have fun with it be free and if you fall on your face you fall on your face but at least you can say that you tried and that's what matters the most yeah i'm gonna stop preaching to you guys now but it was just on my heart y'all it was on my heart okay so i just pulled some curls in my hair back and i'm just gonna take this clip i'm not gonna clip the twist on my hair so it doesn't get frizzy but i'll just clip the twist together like this so that they hold together and I'm just gonna leave it like this I'll let my hair dry for a little bit and then I'll get back on camera once it's fully dry and talk about um, how it looks and how it feels all right you guys so we are back and my hair has officially air dried it took a few hours it took about like four hours but we're here and I am really really happy with how this came out my curls are super defined, as you can see. They're super defined. They're really not that frizzy at all. Like, they, this product really stood true to what they said. Like, my hair is not that frizzy at all. It's not so voluminous, but that's fine because I wasn't looking for that. And honestly, I feel like if I just took a pic and went through my hair that I would get that volume. Um, but I like the way it is right now. Your hair doesn't always need to be voluminous or super big. Sometimes you just want to find um, put curls. So I am really happy with this. I think this ultra defining gel stood true to what it said. It smelled good. My hair feels like it's moisturized. It doesn't feel dry and flaky. The only thing that I will say is it says it's a no crunch styler. And maybe it's just because um, my hair was wet and when it dried, it dried hard. But my hair is crunchy. If you can hear it, it even sounds like it's crunchy, but that's okay with me too, to be honest, because it's not that bad. Like I feel like once you get it moving and you get it going, it'll get softer. And as I've told you guys before in my previous videos, I'm not really a fan of putting gel in my hair because I just feel like it dries your hair out, it breaks your hair. But this gel, as I said earlier, it has a lot of moisturizing ingredients like glycerin, the hydrolyzed proteins, like it has a lot of good stuff in it. So I would definitely use this by itself. Before I recorded this video, I was like, I think I wanna put a conditioner in my hair to protect the cuticle before I go ahead and put a gel. But because there was so many moisturizing ingredients, I was like, let's put this product to the test. And it passed, like it's really, really good. 
So Diva Curl, thank you so much for sending me this. I really enjoyed it. This was something that was new for me and I love it. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I, I am so happy. I know that when I go to bed tonight, I put this in a pineapple. Tomorrow it's gonna look beautiful because second day hair always looks bomb. But you guys let me know what you think. Tell me if you like it. Um, tell me what's your preference. Do you like curls that are more defined and harder or do you like that loose, kind of soft look let me know and hopefully i'll see you guys below in the comments and until next time bye